Hey guys, here's Steve Wang with Elite Creature Collectibles welcome and he's talking about his new stuff here. Yeah, welcome to Elite Creature Collectibles. Um, some of you probably have already seen on Instagram, this is our new life-size ET collectible. He comes with a light-up finger and also a light-up heart with a little bit of animation you can see in a bit. Simulating the heartbeat. Uh, he's translucent resin. He's, uh, very complicated to create, but uh, it's going to be really cool once we release it. I think we're projecting uh, pre-orders maybe end of June. Is uh, what we're talking about right now, or somewhere very, very close to that. So, um, and for those of you that don't collect life size, or if it's too rich for your budget, we're also going to be putting out a one third scale later. I'm not sure when, but but sometime later, we're going to be putting now, out. Now, one third scale. How tall would he actually be, or how many inches? Well, he is right now uh, at this height. He's he's four feet tall, which is his actual height. Right. Okay. So you just divide that by three, and that's your height. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I'll get so my it's gonna be about. maybe about 15 inches. Oh, that's pretty yeah, cool. All right, awesome. And then uh, here we have the Hellboy 2 license. So we're putting out Abe Sapien uh, from Hellboy 2. And uh, you can see he has the simulated water in his goggles. He's got handmade uh, resin eyes or glass eyes. Uh, hand painted right here on the side of his face. There's translucent panels in here, just like in the movies, so you can see through it. And of wow. course, the, uh, the lens and also his. Uh, his neck, we call it the toilet seat, lights up. Right. Now, will there be a one-third scale on this guy? Oh, yeah. You just wait. Okay, okay, cool, cool. And we have a little sign from the movie. And if you can look at the back here, this is the motif of, you know, Dr. Broom's uh, 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 museum. But then we have a little egg in here, too, a spoiled egg, because Abe loves them. And then a little book, one of Abe's books back here. Wow. And speaking of one-third scale, yes. Abe Sapien, well, look at over here. Magic. Oh, hello. There we go. I should have. Okay. This, this is go. a work in progress. Awesome. Uh, Abe Sapien, yeah. Doug Jones approved. He came by last night. We made sure we worked meticulously to capture his pose and his essence and his character. And the grace of Abe, Abe Sapien. So you can see that, you know, he's got his book. He's got this will all light up. Uh, wow. On his costumes, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, parts that right now are not on here because this is a work in progress. Mm -hmm. He's got his gun belt, his emblem, all his packs, beautiful boots, uh, a beautifully hand-sewn costume as well. Look at the stitch work on it. It's amazing. Wow. And then uh, right here, he's got his case and uh, his book and all these parts. These are all individual parts that are in his case. Wow. Okay. And then right here in the front from Hellboy 2 is a scene with the Tooth Fairy and now the tooth fairies are busting out of the walls like in the movie. Mm -hmm. And then you come on the back. There's like a curtain sort of museum uh, display section. And it has some of these little catchers in the back as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Great. Okay. Yeah. One from my collection. And then we have the one-to-one -one Hellboy. Wow. Uh, this one is pretty crazy. He's a uh, Ron Perlman like this. Really captured his character. Oh, that's spot on. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, we got this this uh, BPRD motif kind of base with the Hellboy Two Golden Army emblem. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't see in the back, but there's a there's a little temple kind of uh, set up in the inside the base in the back. And we're still working on this. We might put a, some flickering firelight back there, maybe just awesome. to kind of help it. Wow. Um, and then we had this guy. Oh yeah. And for Hellboy, we're also going to be putting out one third scale. My kid as well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and this guy was here last year. This is the reptilian gray. Um, he's like my version. This is my, my own personal artwork. Um, it's cool. part of the alien line. Yeah, so this one is based on the, the stories I've heard about the Dulce underground base. Oh, wow. And, uh, wow. and, and how they banded these aliens. They got into an actual fight and 63 people were killed. So uh, this is Aki Ito's Red Marina. This piece right now, as we speak, is actually on pre-order. So if you like this, if you like this piece, don't don't uh, miss it because the pre-order window is closing pretty soon. And then this is the reptilian gray maquette of the one you just saw the bust of. So this is what the full body would look like. Mm -hmm. you notice all the little fine details. See that? So oh, yeah. amazing. Ito's new piece, Fire Soul. This is the companion piece to his fire skull that we put out years ago. So yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful. It's another another Akihito masterpiece. So I'm very amazing. excited to put that it's one out. It's amazing. Yeah. And then here, this is Horus. This is put out by my wife, Mio Nakamura. This is the second in her line of Egyptian busts. Amazing stuff. Um, yeah, and uh, the, these, hand, these eyes are handmade eyes. 
Because one represents the sun, one represents the moon. Wow. This one already, the, the pre-order window's already closed because mm -hmm. we've already sold it. And, wow. But uh, we, we didn't cool. display here last year, so we just brought it to share. Yeah, I'm selling blanks and I'm selling the Grateful Dead. Mm. There <laughs> you go. Hey, how are you? Thanks so much, Steve. Yeah, you're Always welcome. a good seeing you. And yeah. wow, amazing stuff as always. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, here it is. So don't miss out.